Today we'd like to go over some of the characteristics and the benefits of scarification. Today we have before us our 15 inch or 18 inch model here and this unit is powered by a 5 horsepower Honda, 4 cycle engine. One of the things that we're very conscious about is safety. So on the upper handle we've incorporated the safety bale and this must be drawn up at all times and should you trip or fall down or wish to stop the machine instantly by releasing this, the engine stops. Other safety features on the machine today are a fully guarded belt drive and a front debris shield as well as a rear debris shield. The benefits of scarification are to remove unwanted moss. In many cases with continuous mowing we get a buildup of clippings which acts like a layer of thatch, much like a thatched cottage. And this prevents the nutrients of water, oxygen and fertilizer benefiting the plant. When we, the best time to do this is when it is either early spring where there is moisture and we know we're going to get added moisture and possibly in September and odd ones into the fall where the plant has time to recover after the removal of this product. Also we can use the scarifier to groove the ground to provide a natural seed bed. And this is very important because we found that for the best yield and germination of seed it is best to be soil covered. Often we don't have time after seeding to apply top dressing which is really the best way. So sometimes it's best to groove or put small drills in the turf with this type of scarifier to provide that seed bed. And then with a slight dragging with a steel drag mat, we're utilizing the existing soil to cover the seed. The first pass I've set the machine up in will reflect what we would call a tickle cut to correct grain. That is, the grass often has leaders that grow along the surface and we want to prune those off much like we'd prune a tree to straighten them up and have them grow and allow the grasses around them to fill in. The second pass I will adjust the machine slightly down so again the blade tips are not touching the soil at this time but it will cultivate deeper into the plant structure and remove things such as moss which can be quite integrated into the grass. And then the last pass I'd like to adjust the machine down to prepare a seed bed. necessary to have a very good type of rake to remove that debris. Thus we have what we call a ski rake. One nice thing about the ski rake is we will work 90 degrees to that scarification pattern and you'll see the first very very light cut or scarification is producing a very minimal amount 
of debris and this could be done just when it's a little bit warmer or drier without fear of desiccation in the plant. We quickly draw this across and then just back the rake up slightly to clear it. I want to come the other way. This will be the medium pass in this area and you'll see that we're just going to gather quite a bit more debris here by lowering that height to cut down or depth of cut. Whereas when I go from the other direction and I'll pull this way, this is where we lower the machine down to get some blade and soil contact. These grooves will provide a natural seed bed for us and has loosened the soil so that when we drag it with our drag mat, we can cover that seed. You'll notice that the greater amounts of debris at this depth. So we are now ready in this last pattern here to apply seed and top dressing if necessary or if we didn't have time what we would do is apply the seed and then drag it so we use the loosened soil that's in this ground to cover the seed. If we can pattern or just feel the slight little grooves that are the natural seed bed that we've just placed in this ground. We've thinned out the material to allow also the seed to fall, gain seed soil contact.